So, in this lecture today, we will be discussing fuzzy logic control. This is the fourth lecture in this module. Earlier, we discussed fuzzy sets, fuzzy relation, and then using relation matrix and the rule of composition, compositional rule of inference, how do we infer, infer about the consequence in a rule base. So, last class we learnt about fuzzy rule base and the inference mechanism using approximate reasoning. So, we are now ready to understand the concept of fuzzy logic controller. So, in the lecture today, we will be covering why we are after fuzzy logic controller, why we are interested in fuzzy logic controller or why it is interesting. Typical fuzzy control systems, classical and fuzzy PID controller, architecture of a Mamdani type of fuzzy control system that the uh, uh, this, 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 this lecture will be basically we will be dealing with two kinds of uh, architecture, Mamdani type fuzzy control system and TS fuzzy model. These two have become very popular in the fuzzy control literature and then a summary of what we will we will teach today. So, why fuzzy control? Fuzzy logic is a technique to embody human like thinking into a control system. A fuzzy controller can be designed to emulate human deductive thinking that is the process pe the process people use to infer conclusion from what they know. Traditional control approach requires formal modeling of the physical reality. So, we know that there are many systems in which the human operators when they work, they operate the plant based on their experience. Better the experience, better the control mechanism. So, can we utilize such principle of human way of decision making into designing control systems or can our control system behave the way human operators control certain physical devices based on their experiences. Uh, although there are various reasons why we talk about fuzzy control, uh, here there are some of the important parameters why scientifically fuzzy logic control has been accepted in the control literature. Fuzzy control incorporates ambiguous human logic into computer programs. It suits control problem that cannot be easily represented by mathematical models. For example, there are systems for which we have very weak model that means, the physics of the systems are very poorly understood. Then there are physical systems where the parameter variations uh, are arbitrary and cannot be known a priori or there are system where the data obtained from the systems are incomplete or unavailable or sometimes also the plant may be very complex in the sense if I want to even if I know the physics of the system if I want to build the mathematical model for this complex plant the model would be very complex. Another reason could be for fuzzy logic control is good qualitative understanding of plant or process operation. So, because of its unconventional approach design of such controllers leads to faster development or implementation cycles. So, today we will be uh, talking about two categories of fuzzy control systems. So, these two typical fuzzy control systems uh, they are popularly known in control literature as Mamdani type and Takagi Sugeno type T s for short form. So, Mamdani system 
in momentary time fuzzy systems um, such systems employ fuzzy sets in the consequent part of the rules okay so this is a fuzzy logic controller the momentary type fuzzy logic controller what do they do is that the 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 consequent part itself takes the control action or the control action is described the incremental control action is described in the consequent part of each rule. So, uh, for those who are more interested to know why Mamnani type of system we say, because it is their first paper Mamnani and Ashulan, a case study on the application of fuzzy set theory to automatic control. This is the first paper on fuzzy control that has been recorded. Okay. This is the first work that has been recorded in way back 1974. And uh, most of the controllers, fuzzy logic controllers, they follow the same close for or they follow the very close format as that of Mamnani FLC presented in this paper. Then you have, uh, so this is uh, those who are interested they can look at this uh, reference to a case study on the application of fuzzy set theory to automatic control that is why these are Mamnani type controller. The next is T S fuzzy system Takagi Sugeno fuzzy systems they employ function of the input fuzzy linguistic variable as the consequent of the rule. So, what happens here a fuzzy dynamic model is expressed in the form of local rules. Okay. Local rule means if a if x 1 if there are two variables say if x 1 is a and x 2 is v then the plan dynamics can be represented either as a linear dynamical system or a nonlinear dynamical system as a non dynamical system. Okay. Those who are interested to know the origin of Takagi Sugina model, you can follow uh, this particular link IEEE transaction assumption 1985. Takagi and Sugino they published a paper on fuzzy identification of systems and its application to modeling and control. Now, I will introduce you how do we convert or how uh, can we design a Mamdani type of fuzzy logic controller. So, first part we will be discussing Mamdani type of fuzzy logic controller. So, to before you know that fuzzy logic controller means we are designing the controller for a nonlinear system and the plant is unknown cannot be modeled properly and there are various other uh, constraints uh, about the system dynamics. Okay. So, what you are seeing here is that this is a simple uh, feedback control system where you are seeing a plant, a PID controller, UT is the control action, this is the output, this is the unity feedback, this is the command signal. The objective of this control system is that output should follow the command signal, whatever is the command signal, plant output should follow that as accurately as possible. And what is a PID control law? PID control law U T is this is proportional gain K into E T, this is E T. So, E T plus 1 upon T i 0 to T E T dash D T dash. So, this is an integral action you can easily see error is directly multiplied with K and here error has been integrated over time and there is a time constant associated with it T i. And similarly, this error is differentiated in this term D e T by D t and T d. So, this is your P i d controller, this is very well known. You will be surprised to know in spite of varieties and very novel schemes of control schemes, uh, sorry very novel control schemes have appeared 
in the literature, they have been implemented in real time, but still most of the systems, most of the uh, industrial processes, they employ PID controller. So, this PID controller, if I write in the discrete domain, you have an expression like this. Discrete domain means here T is represented as K delta T. So, delta T is a sampling time interval, K is the sampling instant. So, T is K delta T. So, for sake of convenience, uh, we just you, you remove delta t and then we write the discrete form of the equation. So, at kth sampling instant means at t equal to k delta t u k is k e k into 1 upon t i. So, this uh, e t dash d t dash if I want to uh, integrate it how do I write e k delta t plus e k minus 1 delta t plus e k minus 2 delta t until e 0 uh, the initial value of error into delta t plus this is t d into this d e t by d t. If I want to differentiate using you know backward difference uh, model then it will be e k minus e k minus 1 upon delta t right. So, this is a using difference method or Euler's difference method this is the uh, the difference uh, d e t upon d t. Okay. So, given that, so this is the recursive form of u k, why I am doing it? To show you that the, the controller, this p i d controller has a very interesting structure. Just wait for a moment, just look at here. I made little simplification in the controller structure, removing the derivative part. So, I have now proportional part and the integral part. So, this is a p i controller. So, discrete version of this at kth instant I would write u k equal to k e k plus 1 upon t i e k plus e k minus 1 and so on and to delta t. Similarly, I can write this equation at k minus 1th instant to be u k minus 1 plus k e k minus 1 plus 1 upon t i e k minus 1 plus e k minus 2 and so on until delta t. So, now if I subtract this equation from this equation what I get u k minus u k minus 1 is k and then this is the proportional gain e k minus e k minus 1 you can easily see e k minus e k minus 1 and then here e k minus 1 this will be uh, 0 and all these terms will be uh, cancelled only one term will appear that is e k by t i into delta t. So, what you are finding that if I now write this expression, this expression I will write that u k equal to u k minus 1 that is the present control action is equal to previous control action plus the incremental control action. This I would say incremental control action, okay. where this delta u k you can easily see is a sum function of E and the change in error, error and change in error, because you know that these are all constants k, t i, delta t are constant. So, you can easily say delta u k the incremental control action is a function of error and change in error and this is the very basis or this is the very foundation on which the money this understanding specific understanding led to innovation of fuzzy logic control rule base. How fuzzy logic control rule base is structured? I will explain that, but first again let us go back to again the previous example that is a classical p i d controller. In a classical p i d controller this is my control action okay, u t equal to k e t e t d t 
integration and d e t upon d t into some uh, t d. So, in discrete domain I showed you that this, uh, this can be written in this particular form. So, you can write for u k minus 1 the corresponding discrete form subtract if you do that you can show finally, again u k can be written as present control action is equal to previous control action plus incremental control action, where this incremental control action is a function of error, change in error and higher order terms and higher order terms. Okay. So, the incremental incre incremental control control action incremental control output is some function of. So, this is delta u k u k which we say incremental control action is some function of error change in error and higher order terms. So, now we will understand this is Mamnani type. This is typically Mamnani type physics uh, controller. So, where you see that uh, instead of a PID, we have put a physiologic controller there, okay. and uh, rest is same. So, similar to classical PID controller, a FOGI PID controller can have the following structure. It is not only this is the only structure, there are various other structure also. I am just presenting one of the uh, uh, structure that, that, that is most commonly followed. So, in that structure, u k is u k minus 1 plus delta u k. This we realized that whether it is a p i e or p i d, they will have this particular form u k equal to u k minus 1 plus delta u k. Okay. So, this delta u k in case of fuzzy logic controller is obtained using a fuzzy rule base that provides incremental control action, which is a function of two fuzzy variables error and change in error. So, I would say this is error E and change in error which is delta E. So, this is a fuzzy set. We built another fuzzy set delta E. Okay. And uh, the delta u k, which is another fuzzy variable incremental control action, that is a function of two fuzzy variables E and delta E. Okay. The difference between a classical, then what is a, why we are doing fuzzy PID controller and instead of classical PID? In classical PID controller, normally it is a, a designed for linear system. Also, there are PID controllers that can be designed for nonlinear system, where the PID gains are uh, varying. You know, they are uh, trajectory dependent, and as system moves from one part of the trajectory to another part of the trajectory, the gains do vary. But uh, that's possible also using classical PID. But fuzzy PID controller is nonlinear. That is, this particular controller is always preferred for nonlinear system where the PID the classical PID controller design is either difficult or is not very accurate even if we design it is not very uh, 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 efficient. Now, what we are now interested in that we want to compute what is the incremental control action delta u in a fuzzy logic controller of Mamnani type. And this, this incremental control action to compute we have a rule base. So, how do we construct a rule base? Now, I think of that the fuzzy logic controller is implementing simply a proportional controller, proportional controller for a nonlinear system. So, that means what is happening? Now, according to the situation error the proportional controller you know the proportional controller u is simply a k e t. So, this is my error, this is my gain and this is my control uh, direct control action actually. 
this is my direct control action. Okay. So, uh, naturally when I have a proportional controller, the my Fuji rules they look like if error is positive high then keep the heater on for longer duration. This is a temperature control system. If error is positive low then keep the heater on for smaller duration. Okay. So, you see the how the rule. So, in this rule you see that the antecedent part has only one fuzzy variable that is error, because in proportional controller u is directly a function of e t and the control action is not an incremental control action, this is a direct control action u equal to k e t, but in case of a uh, fuzzy p i controller uh, the this uh, this is an incremental control action that is uh, for p i controller we realized that u k should be minus 1. So, present control action is equal to previous control action plus delta u k. So, the fuzzy logic rule base or fuzzy logic controller will compute what is delta u k. We already know what is the previous input and that has to be added. So, this incremental addition is computed and you know that this incremental addition is a function of error and change in error. Hence, the rule should look like, like this, if error is positive high and change in error is positive high, then keep the heater on for longer duration. Instead of that probably you should understand this a, uh, uh, the incremental control action here uh, is, uh, when I, okay. When this this rule sets that I have I am presenting to you to let you know that how we form a rule. In case of proportional fuzzy proportional controller, uh, my fuzzy variables dependent uh, independent variables is only one that is error. In case of uh, 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 a fuzzy P I controller, my independent variables are error and change in error. Okay this is E and this is delta E okay. and based on that the control action is computed. So, for example, here we have written if error is positive high and change in error is positive high then keep the heater on for longer duration rule 2. If error is positive low and change in error is positive low then keep the heater on for smaller duration architecture of an fuzzy logic controller. So, this is very short form fuzzy logic controller Mamdani type. This is the Mamdani type controller where to the controller the actual data that is actually the controller is receiving is a crisp data is a is a classical data or a crisp data is that it has a definite value okay. and that crisp data uh, goes to the fuzzy logic controller and it has this four components you can see fuzzifier, rule base, inference engine and defuzzifier. Fuzzifier uh, uh, the in a fuzzy logic controller the com computation is through linguistic values not through exact computation. So, naturally fuzzifier would fuzzify the crisp data. Okay. So, like in case of temperature I can say it is hot, medium hot, cold, medium cold, very hot. Uh, normal. So, these are the fuzzifier that means given a crisp data or the value of temperature say 40 degree. So, then I have to now convert it to various linguistic values and each linguistic value will be associated with a specific membership function okay, that is fuzzifier. Then uh, once the data has been fuzzified then it goes to the rule base and using an inference mechanism okay, uh, there is uh, the, the, the inference is taken place in fuzzy term not in classical term and after a fuzzy inference takes place about the decision or about the control action we place a defuzzifier and what this defuzzifier does converts the fuzzy uh, control action to a crisp control action. Okay. So, in general what we can say the principal design parameters of a fuzzy logic controller are the following. 
fuzzification strategies and the interpretation of a fuzzification operator. So, how do we fuzzify a crisp data? Okay. In the database, the discretization or normalization of universe of discourse, uh, it is done the because the data, uh, we must know the range of data, the range of data one will encounter in a actual plant and accordingly the normalization must be done. So, that we are taking into account of all possible values of data that one may encounter in a physical plant. Fuzzy partition of the input and output space. Now, if I know the dynamic range of an input to the controller and the input to the plant. So, input to the plant is actually output to the controller. Okay. So, if I know the dynamic range, then uh, using uh, in that dynamic range, I must learn how to do fuzzy partition of the input and output phase. Okay. And this fuzzification should such, it should be uh, the, the process should be complete in the sense like you know, you see that I am drawing a universe of discourse here, this is the real value for a specific variable x 1. Okay. And if I have defined a fuzzy set like this and like this. So, you can easily see that this part of the data has no uh, is not associated with any uh, fuzzy membership. Okay. This is mu and this is x 1 and unfortunately, this part does not uh, is not associated with any membership. Hence, this part what you are seeing uh, sorry this is not a this is not complete, this fuzzification process is not complete. That means, the entire universe of discourse uh, in a specific domain, you know, for, for wherever control system, there are various kinds of control system, process control, robot control, aircraft control. So, every control system is associated with some input data and some output data. So, all possible input data and all possible output data should be associated with a specific linguistic value as well as a, 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 a membership function. Uh, choice of the membership function of a primary fuzzy set. Also, we must uh, be very clear what category, what kind of we have already discussed in the first lecture varieties of membership function like we talked about triangular membership function, trapezoidal membership function, uh, pi uh, function and so forth. So, we have to be very uh, you know clear what kind of function membership function we would like to employ. Okay. Now, rule base once fortification is done how do we create a rule base as I said the rule base uh, the typically the rule base uh, the two variables that is most of prime important is error and change in error. We also showed why it is so. Okay. So, rule base choice of process state input variables and control variables. Okay. So, we have to because you know that if I am implementing a fuzzy state feedback controller, fuzzy state feedback controller, then a fuzzy state feedback controller u would be minus k x. So, x is the states of the system okay. and whereas, if I am implementing a fuzzy PID controller, then it will be p old plus uh, plus k uh, delta u k. Okay. So, here this delta u k is a function of error and change in error, whereas, in a state feedback controller uh, this is command signal r. So, the, the control action is dependent on state x 1, x 2 and x n. Source and derivation of fuzzy control rules, how do I derive these rules? Okay. What is the basis? Okay. Types of fuzzy control rules okay. and types of fuzzy control rule means whether it is a PID controller, fuzzy PID controller, it is a fuzzy state feedback controller. Similarly, completeness of fuzzy control rule, that means given 
any crisp data in the in the domain of input space as well as output space do I have in my rule base a specific rule associated with this data. If I do not have any rule for this data then FLC will fail. So, that is meaning of completeness of fuzzy control rules. Then fuzzy inference mechanism we have already talked about what is fuzzy inference mechanism given multiple rules how do we infer the consequence part. D fuzzification, G fuzzification strategies and the interpretation of fuzzification operator. So, once the inference is done fuzzy inference is done from fuzzy inference how do I get a crisp uh, value uh, or a crisp control action this is called D fuzzification. So, now I hope you are very clear about a complete architecture of a fuzzy logic of an fuzzy logic controller. So, this is your process or a plant you have sensors they provide the plant state data and then you have this fuzzification crisp to fuzzy interface and then inference mechanism this inference mechanism takes help of fuzzy rule base and given a specific sensor data it evaluates what should be the fuzzy action fuzzy control action from fuzzy control action we go to defuzzification where which we say fuzzy to crisp interface and finally the control action this is your control action here in this domain this control action is actuated through actuator to the for the process so this is the overall uh, structure of a fuzzy logic controller now <coughs> i will be a little uh, uh, precise in terms of some of the concept that if a mamdani type fuzzy logic controller uh, uh, is involved with or the, the, the so a mamdani type a mamdani type fuzzy logic controller the fuzzification processes not only mamdani this is this is the normal fuzzification process let us say I have rule 1 this is rule 2 and rule 2 real rule 1 of course, all my rules uh, normally fuzzy PID controller have two uh, fuzzy variables one is error and another is change in error. So, given a specific error because I know what is my error at the command signal I know what is my output from the system I compare it to the command signal then I know what is error. Okay. So, that is given a uh, uh, command signal and output I know what is error and also I know what is change in error because I know what was the previous error and what is the error now. So, by subtracting the previous error from the current error I know what is my delta i. Okay. So, these things I know already that means, the controller fuzzy logic controller has the information of error and change in error. So, if change in error you know what is the crisp value then corresponding fuzzy membership is computed according to the rule. Rule defines if my error is a 1 1 where a 1 1 is a specific fuzzy set in this case it is a triangular set triangular function membership function. So, you can easily see now this this particular crisp input has a fuzzy membership 0 0.7 in fuzzy set a 1 1. Similarly, the second uh, uh, fuzzy variable that is change in error whose crisp input is this value this specific value that and that has a fuzzy membership function 0.4 in fuzzy membership function a to 1. Okay. So, the crisp so if error is a 1 1 and change in error is a to 1. So, now given the crisp data which is error and change in error now we have corresponding uh, uh, membership function for rule 1 first one rule shows uh, error the error has membership function 0 0.7 
and change in error has 0.4. In the second case, in rule 2, the same crisp input gives you 0.6 membership function and the other uh, crisp input gives you 0.8 uh, membership, uh, membership function. So, this is how we fuzzify a crisp data to uh, fuzzy, fuzzy data or we, we make them fuzzy. That is the crisp input for variable x 1 and x 2. Uh, actually, this is not x 1 and x 2, this is e, this is e and delta e are converted to fuzzy sets using triangular membership function. It is not always triangular, it can be anything, but in normally in control literature, most of this uh, membership functions are triangular function. So, now d fuzzification. Once I know how to do, do the fuzzification, the d fuzzification is, uh, is explained in the following uh, diagram. You see that among various d fuzzification methods, the most popular is center of gravity method. How do I do it? Now, given crisp input at any situation, any kth sampling instant, the fuzzy logic controller gets the command signal, gets the actual output of the plant, computes the error, computes the uh, uh, change in error and then those crisp values are fed into the fuzzification layer. Then you have uh, the membership function, you pass on pass on to them, pass, uh, pass on those uh, uh, fuzzy data to the rule base and then for specific rule base you see that in rule 1, uh, you see that uh, the membership uh, mu 1, mu a 1 1 and mu a 2 1, if you compare mu a 2 1 is the minimum and correspondingly you shade uh, the zone of action. This is delta u, how much should be the incremental control action. So, this is my shaded portion or shaded portion of my control action. Now, I take a second one, second row and there again I evaluate the fuzzy membership function a 1 2 and a 2 2. So, you see that the, this is the, the a 1 2 mu membership function in a 1 2 is less. So, corresponding to that we said the incremental control action. So, now you see that if I take the maximum of these two shaded zone, I get this maximum of this and after I get this is fuzzy decision. Okay. This is the fuzzy incremental control action, but how do I convert this fuzzy incremental control action to a crisp action. So, that is by this center of gravity method. In center of gravity method, I integrate uh, uh, mu delta u d delta u upon uh, integration of mu d delta u. So, if I integrate this function, I get somewhere here to be the center of gravity. So, delta mu star is this value, which is graphically shown here. Okay. So, we uh, discussed about uh, Mamdani type fuzzy logic controller. Now, in the second part of this lecture, we will be discussing about Takagi Sugeno fuzzy model okay. and how we will not discuss about how do we design the control system, we will just present how uh, a fuzzy system is mo a, a, a actual physical system is modeled using uh, Takagi Sugen TSO uh, TS fuzzy model. A general Takagi Sugeno model of n rules uh, is given by for a for any physical plant uh, given for any physical plant a general T s model of n rules is given by rule i, this is the ith rule. If x 1 k is a specific fuzzy set m 1 i and x 2 k is another fuzzy uh, specific fuzzy set m 2 i and so on until x n k is 
another fuzzy set M n i, then the system dynamics locally is described as x k plus 1 is a i x k plus b i u k, where i equal to 1, 2 until n, because there are n rules. Okay. So, just like we represented here, this is a discrete time. I hope that all of you know that this is discrete time state space model. Okay. <coughs> so, this k refers to the discrete time index or sampling instant x j the jth linguistic variable or state m j a fuzzy set of x j m j i a fuzzy term of m j selected for rule i. Okay. So, like if a two state variables in a plant is temperature and pressure, then m 1 would stand for pressure and m 2 uh, sorry m 1 will stand for pressure uh, temperature and m 2 will stand for pressure. Okay. Uh, similarly, if a some physical system it has two state variables like position and velocity, then we can say m 1 is the uh, fuzzy set associated with position and m 2 is the uh, fuzzy set associated with velocity. And then m 1 i and m 2 i is the various fuzzy, fuzzy term within each fuzzy set that if I am looking at fuzzy set position, then I can say I can describe position to be positive big, positive small, positive medium, negative small, negative medium like that. So, this is a specific term. So, these are m j i. Similarly, if it is a temperature, uh, if my uh, state variable is a temperature then uh, the temp m will be temper m j would be a temperature fuzzy set and m j i would be a term like hot cold medium uh, so this is how this t s fuzzy model is described hmm. where you know that uh, it has uh, the we are assuming in this that my physical system is described by n state space uh, n states which is x 1 k x 2 k until x n k and the inputs are m dimensional input vector that is it is a multi input system. Okay. So, this is my uh, this I have some a priori understanding about the system. Now, we will go to a simple system. Okay. You know that a single manipulator what is a single link manipulator? Now, you know that there is a hinge and to hinge is attached one manipulator one link okay. and here there is a motor sitting is here. Okay. So, this is your motor and this manipulator can go in this direction you know it can uh, rotate vertically in the vertical plane it can rotate. Okay and also uh, either uh, clock uh, anti clockwise or clockwise it can rotate. Okay. So, the <coughs> normally if I assume this is my hinge then this is my link okay. this is my link and if I assume this to be uh, uh, my neutral position that is theta equal to 0. So, when this link comes to this position, so this is I can say positive 90 degree and this position this is negative 90 degree okay, the moment it takes that is where you define. Okay. So, you know that such a uh, single link manipulator has you can easily derive the dynamics if this is my theta with respect to uh, my vertical axis. So, if this is my vertical axis 
this is my theta. So, this will be m l square uh, theta double dot plus m g l sin theta is the torque. So, the amount of torque that I apply the motor would apply at this hinge uh, uh, given that torque the, the position and velocity of the link would vary according to this uh, dynamics. Okay. So, that is m l square theta double dot this is the acceleration plus m g l sin theta is tau you can easily derive this. So, now if I take x 1 uh, equal to theta the angle of the manipulator from the vertical and x 2 equal to theta dot which is angular velocity of the manipulator eh, and tau is the control torque. Eh. So, then I can write this equation in the state space format. This is a state space model where I can easily you can easily see x 1 dot is theta dot which is x 2 and x 2 dot which is theta double dot is equal to you can see minus m g l sin x 1 divided by m l square which is minus g l g by l sin x 1 plus 1 upon m l square into tau the control action. So, you have a system single link manipulator which has two states. So, we would like to represent this dynamics as a Fuji system. So, how do we do it? Okay. So, let us consider the Fuji set variable x 1 is m 1 which is positive large, positive small, 0, negative small, negative large which is the written here. Similarly, the Fuji set associated with the variable x 2. So, this is position uh, angular position x 1 and x 2 is angular velocity and for that the Fuji set is m 2 and Fuji terms are positive large, positive small, 0, negative small, negative large. At the moment we are not bothered you know you can consider these Fuji terms to be either triangular or you know pi function or s function the way you like or Gaussian function trapezoidal function. Okay, we will not be interested so much on that aspect now, but what is important to learn now if I have a rule a, a system dynamics defined in two Fuji variables each Fuji variables is again partitioned into five uh, Fuji zones then uh, total number of rules that are necessary to describe such a dynamical system would be 25. Okay. So, what I have to say now if x 1 is positive large and x 2 is positive large then system dynamics is this like for example, here the rule 1 if x 1 t is positive large and x 2 t is 0 then x dot t is a matrix into x t plus b matrix into input tau. Similarly, another rule you can derive if x 1 t is positive small uh, sorry positive small and x 2 t is 0 then my system dynamics can be written in terms of a linear state space equation which is x dot t equal to a x t plus b u t. Just like we have written in terms of continuous linear model we can also write in terms of a discrete linear model they can also these these expression also can be written in terms of uh, uh, nonlinear model also non simple nonlinear models. So, it is up to the designer control system designer what kind of uh, uh, rules he need in the domain of T s Fuzzy model. So, what we are talking about given a dynamical system how do we derive T s Fuzzy model of a dynamical system. So, that we can design a specific controller for this system. Okay. So, the T s Fuzzy model uh, uh, 
uh, let mu i is the product of uh, all the fuzzy membership uh, associated with the fuzzy term in a rule base. Like previously, we have two uh, uh, fuzzy term positive large and 0. So, given a crisp uh, data that is x 1 and x 2, you have a specific membership function from positive large, another specific membership function from 0. Okay. So, you, you, you multiply them, sometime you multiply, sometime uh, you also take the minimum. So, this is a product rule what we have taken, this is product rule. You can also take mean. So, this individual membership function I can take a mean and that membership function is associated with the with this uh, with this uh, dynamics. Okay. So, given a crisp data, we compute the membership function for each fuzzy term, product of these fuzzy terms or the mean of these fuzzy terms is associated with the with the dynamical uh, equation in that fuzzy zone. And then overall system dynamics is expressed as x k plus 1 is sigma is, is summation. See, see if I have n rules, then I have n such linear systems and with each linear system is associated with a uh, fuzzy uh, uh, membership function which is mu i k and that is normalized further because each linear system is associated with mu i k and we normalize. So, the normalized membership function is sigma i k this is the normalized signal such that summation of all sigma i k equal to 1. Right? So, try to understand what we are trying to do now. Given a set of rules, for each rule, a set of rule means what? A dynamic system is fuzzy partitioned into 25 different fuzzy zones, that is the meaning. And each fuzzy zone, we have a linear model. Now, we are trying to define what is the global model. Okay. So, the global model is described by this expression, okay. this expression where this is all linear model for ith fuzzy rule. I have n rules and for each fuzzy rule the associated fuzzy membership is mu i which is computed by either the product rule or mean rule. And then, uh, uh, so that, that is how we compute the, the global system dynamics, global fuzzy dynamics of a system. If the system is autonomous, then u k is 0. So, we can conveniently write x k plus 1 is sigma summation sigma i k into a i x k, where again sigma i is the normalized membership function associated with ith uh, linear model in ith fuzzy zone. Now, we will uh, explain this concept uh, in a, through an example. Let us consider following two rules of T s fuzzy model. If x 1 is large and x 2 is moderate, then x k plus 1 is 0 0.5, 0 0.421 x k if x 1 is large, x 2 is large, then x k plus 1 is 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, uh, 2 x k, where x k of course, this is a two state uh, dynamical system. The measured values of x 1 and x 2 at k equal to 1 are 40 units 
and 20 units respectively that is x 1 1 is 40, x 2 1 is 20 unit. Question is asked evaluate the actual system state at k equal to 2 uh, looking at this fuzzy model. So, given a crisp data uh, can I uh, if the crisp data is given at kth instant uh, the, the state of the actual system is given at kth instant. Now, using the T s fuzzy model compute the actual uh, the crisp state of the system. So, in this example we assume that uh, the here this x 1 is large, x 2 is moderate, x 1 is large and x 2 is large these four fuzzy terms their their associated membership functions are mu 1 large is 0.3, mu 1 moderate is 0.3, mu 2 small is 0.7, mu 2 large is 0.8. So, given that uh, according to T s mo fuzzy model this is my global fuzzy dynamics. So, which is h i k this is not h i this is sigma this is sigma i k a i x k where sigma i k is associated fuzzy membership. So, what we do for we have two rules. So, for each rule I have to compute what is the associated membership value. So, associated membership value for the rule 1 would be product of this uh, membership function and this membership function 0.3. Uh, so, uh, mu 1 moderate is actually not 0.3 this is 0.4. So, 0.3 into 0.4 is 0.14. Okay. Similarly, mu 2 1 uh, this is the fuzzy membership associated with the uh, uh, um, second rule or second linear system. So, that is mu 2 small which is 0.7, mu 2 large is 0.8 is 0.56. Okay. So, normalized value. So, mu 1 is normalized then we get sigma 1 1, mu 2 1 is normalized we get sigma 2 1 which is two, uh, mu 1 uh, sigma 1 is 12 upon 68 and sigma 2 is 56 upon 68. So, finally, we find out the actual uh, crisp value x 2 using this dynamics which is i equal to 1 to 2 we have two rules sigma i 1 is associated fuzzy members normalized fuzzy membership a i is the associated system matrix and uh, x uh, is the state vector which is x 1 and x 2 at the uh, 1 stands for st instant sampling instant. So, so we if you compute that you get 12 upon 68 my a 1 matrix is given this my x 1 is 40 into 20. Similarly, the second rule 56 upon 68 is my membership function associated a 2 is given this and my x 1 uh, at kth sampling instant the states are 40 and 20. If you compute this is my answer 37.88 and 83.52. So, what you got an idea that how using T s fuzzy model we can describe the dynamics of an actual plant. We will discuss about T s fuzzy model and Mamnani type of fuzzy logic controller in this course in detail and in depth later. So, today we end this class with a summary that uh, what we learned today is the utility of fuzzy control, why we employ fuzzy control, classical PID controller and fuzzy PID controller, how they are they have a connection or they do not have a connection. We saw that the, the idea that normally Mamnani type of fuzzy controller that the incremental control action is dependent on two fuzzy variables that is error and change in error basically comes from the 
the, the, the structure of PIE controller or PID controller. So, complete architecture of Fuji control system, um, what are the various components of Fuji control system we learnt. Some useful Fuji control systems, those are popularly known as Mamnani type Fuji loss system and Takagi Sugeno Fuji model. With that, thank you. Thank you.